Hello everyone and welcome back. So in today's video I wanted to present you a tool that I've been working on and that I'm releasing today. Basically is a way to color correct these uh, HDR images with color charts. So instead of me talking I'm just gonna show you. So I'm gonna drop a color matrix, matrix color transform. Uh, in this case I have an HDRI where I have the color chart but I extracted a section. I did this in Affinity Photo and I extracted a section where the color chart is. So I'm gonna connect this to the source image. And if I enter the tool, as you can see, we have uh, Python states in COPS. I developed this uh, user interface and you can undo, redo, everything should work just fine. So I'm just gonna quickly align this. And uh, at the same time, I can preview the output color correction. As you can see, this is real time and I can connect in here I can align it, I mean, and I can increase the sample area, as you can see, that will depend. And it's really sampling all those pixels and averaging them out. can also change the... By default, it will resample the image, so by 30%, but I can increase it to 1 and still have a good feedback, as you can see. It's a bit slower, but I encourage you to downsample. It will help to um, blur a bit the colors and average them out. But anyways, there's an average algorithm built in. So as you can see, this is pretty good. So we went from the source image to this color corrected. And now I also have an output in here, which is the color matrix. I'm just going to exit the tool. And as you can see, we have the output color correction. But I can come in here and uh, place an apply color matrix. And I'm going to input, let's say I want to color correct now the full HDR. So I'm going to connect the input image and the color matrix and it will color correct as you can see and we should have the same colors and let's say you want to revert back in any case so you can create yet another color matrix and connect in this case the color corrected one uh, so you you want now to invert the matrix the matrix and now you come back to the original so there's a way to do a round trip with this workflow. And yeah, there's nothing else much to it. So you have the usual controls and the color swatches. They are color corrected and uh, by default this will work with ACCG. So you have to keep that in mind. So the colors uh, match the ACCG workflow as you can see that I'm using in here. And yeah, you can use these overlays to see how much the colors matched. In this case, I have a weird perspective because this is from a let long and uh, it might not align perfectly, but it's working fine in any case. So yeah, then you can just apply the matrix to your other assets, let's say footage or HDRs in this case, and you can revert back with this invert matrix. So this is a tool that I'm going to share as part of the Patreon uh, for this month. Instead of doing a tutorial, I'm going to share these tools for the top tier Patreon supporters. And if you're not on Patreon, I'm also going to make them available as a separate product that you can buy. So yeah, that's basically it. It will always be cheaper if you are part of the Patreon, of course. So instead of doing a tutorial this month, I'm going to share these two tools. So this one is pretty simple. It's just apply matrix. This one is the one that uh, has more work into it. And I can walk you through how I did all this setup. This involves quite a bit of a setup. So I started in SOPS where I did just an add node that is connected to the, the, to the controllers. Then I'm calculating a matrix in here so I can show you that. So let me actually visualize it as an axis. So I'm just showing this because you might have interest in it. But anyways, you can grab the tool right away and don't skip this part. So I'm calculating a, a matrix on both states, one where is I just use the bound to get a pretty rectangular shape. Then I'm calculating the difference matrix and apply the matrix to this point so I can always deform the swatches. Then I'm loading a color chart of the color attribute, make sure we set it to linear to have the ACCG colors. So basically this chart I have in here, as you can see. So yeah, after that, we have the points with the colors and I can load that into a sampling algorithm in here, as you can see, and I can increase the radius of the sample. And as you can see, it will average out. 
there's a lot to it basically i'm iterating through all the points and getting the point position getting the color and compare it to the sampled color so there's a some some complication to it then i'm calculating the matrix in here and i make sure i set it just one, one pixel by one pixel this way it can be pretty responsive and in order to calculate the matrix we use the least squares uh, algorithm and as you can see it's not much it's just a simple code and after that we apply the matrix which is just this bit of code and i'm also packing the matrix in three vectors so i'm using the cable pack to output as a color matrix and that way I can use this apply color matrix, which is just this code. And yeah, that's basically it. Then, of course, and I'm showing this because you can actually take this, um, take this tool and uh, take take it apart and learn from it. As you can see, we have uh, we have vex in here, a bit of vex. So in order to calculate the up and tangent to apply the matrix, we have quite a bit of OpenCL, a lot of things that I've learned uh, working on this tool, mostly about the atomic functions, and yeah. Uh, then we also have, of course, the Python states. Uh, oh, of course, we are working on this image. We have, of course, these Python states where I'm uh, doing the, the user interface, and this is new to Odini 21, this Python states for cops. So I can show you a bit of that. So as you can see, there's still a bit to it. As you can see, there's about 400 lines of code. And again, if there is uh, if there is any interest in this, I might uh, create a new video covering uh, how I done this tool. I gave you a brief overview. But yeah, you can let me know if you want me to show you um, a detailed version of this. Because I think this is an area of Odini that is pretty cool to explore and know about, because you never know when you might need a custom tool to work on your project. So yeah, guys, I will leave you with that. As always, you can grab the tools if you are a Patreon supporter of the top tier where you get the tutorials. This month you will get these two tools, these two HDAs. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and uh, liked my new tool. I had a lot of fun doing it and learned a bunch. And if you have any questions, please leave them below. And I'll see you next time. Happy New Year!